Illinois frogs and toads. Part 2. Species in the family Microhylidae, the narrowmouth toads, are tiny burrowing anurans. They have a fold of skin behind the pointed head. Their primary food is ants. There is only one species in this family, the eastern narrowmouth toad, which is threatened in Illinois. The eastern narrowmouth toad rarely exceeds one and one-fourth inches in length. A fold of skin across the back of its pointed head can be moved forward to wipe away insects attacking the eyes. This small, plump toad is found only along the Mississippi and Ohio rivers in southern Illinois. The narrowmouth toad is a very strong, secretive burrower that hides by day under rocks, bark, rotten stumps, or other objects on the ground. It comes out at night to feed on small insects such as beetles, termites, and ants. This unusual species breeds throughout the summer after heavy rains, and its call resembles the bleat of a lamb. The low nasal buzz is even reported to be made while underwater. The family Ranidae contains the true frogs, those that have long legs for jumping. Their toes are webbed to aid in swimming. Most of them have a ridge along each side of the back. Only one genus, Lithobates, is present in Illinois, which contains eight species. Crawfish Frog The crawfish frog is one of eight true Illinois frog species. This large frog grows to a length of nearly four inches. The dark, round spots surrounded by light borders and the back is noticeably humped. This somewhat stubby frog lives in the southern half of Illinois and is closely associated with the hard pan clay soils south of the Shelbyville Moraine. A nocturnal frog, it spends the daylight hours hiding in crayfish or other animal burrows or under boards and logs in wet prairies, pastures, and golf courses. It lays its eggs from early March to mid-April in flooded fields, farm ponds, and small lakes. The call of the crawfish frog carries for a considerable distance. It resembles a deep, roaring snore. American Bullfrog Nearly everyone recognizes the American Bullfrog. It is olive or brown above with some green on the head or upper jaw. The American Bullfrog is the largest frog in North America, reaching a length of 8 inches. It is common throughout our state. This frog is fairly aquatic, spending most of its time near permanent water. It is classified as a game animal and is hunted for its legs. From late April to August, the eggs are laid in large surface masses, sometimes up to 5 feet across. The call can be described as a deep bass brum or juggle rum. Green Frog The green frog resembles the bullfrog in coloration. It differs from the bullfrog in having a pair of distinct ridges extending from the head for two-thirds of its body length. It is rarely larger than four inches in length. The green frog occurs in northern, western, and southern Illinois. In northern Illinois, it is found in a variety of aquatic habitats, but in the central and southern portion of the state, it is restricted to clear, cool streams near rock outcrops. It breeds from May to September, and, like the bullfrog, the tadpoles do not transform until their second summer. The call of the green frog sounds like the plucking of a loose banjo string. Pickerel Frog The pickerel frog can be identified by the two rows of irregular square or rectangular spots on the back. It is usually gray or tan with bright yellow on the rear of the thighs and belly. This one and three-fourths to three-inch frog is found only in the extreme northern, western, and southwestern portions of Illinois. It appears to be intolerant of warm, sluggish waters. It frequents cool, clear streams and caves. The eggs are laid from April to mid-June in quiet waters of bogs, lakes, and woodland ponds and river sloughs. The call is a short, gruff snore with little carrying power. Northern Leopard Frog The northern leopard frog usually has two or three rows of irregular dark spots on the back. Each spot has a light margin. A dark spot on the snout is also common. This three and one half inch frog is found in northern Illinois. 
During the warm summer months, it wanders far away from the streams, ponds, and sloughs where it normally lives. It feeds heavily on the insects found in grassy or weedy fields away from water. It breeds from mid-March to May. It can be imitated by rubbing a thumb over an inflated balloon. Southern Leopard Frog The southern leopard frog is similar to its northern cousin. However, the spots rarely have a light border and the snout rarely has a dark spot. A light marking can occur on the eardrum. This frog lives in southern Illinois. It breeds slightly earlier than the northern leopard frog but lives in similar habitats. The southern leopard's frog mating call consists of a rapid series of short chuckles. Plains Leopard Frog The Plains Leopard Frog is an excellent leaper and frequents grassy areas away from water during the summer. It closely resembles the northern leopard frog except for that the two light tan ridges on the back have a space in them near the hind leg and are inset. The inner thigh is washed with yellow. It occurs in central and southern Illinois where it frequents prairie remnants. Its call consists of two or three clucks per second. Wood Frog the wood frog has a black mark on the face like a mask. Although usually pink or tan, it is sometimes darker in coloration. There is a dark mark on the shoulder. This uncommon one and one half to two and three fourths inch frog usually occurs sporadically in the forested areas of our state. The breeding season is very short and explosive, lasting only one or two weeks in March. The wood frog lays its eggs in the permanent or semi-permanent pools of moist woodlands, but rarely lingers near the water even during breeding season. This species appears very early in spring, often before the ice on ponds has melted. It is very tolerant of cold and ranges farther north than any other North American amphibian or reptile. The wood frog is difficult to see among the fallen leaves on the forest floor. It is often only noticed by its long, low leaps. The breeding call resembles the feeding chuckle of a duck, but with little carrying power. <laughs> Family Saphiopodidae contains the spadefoots. Spadefoots have a hard structure on each hind foot, which is used to aid them when digging. They spend much time below the surface of the ground. The pupil of their eyes is vertical. The eastern spadefoot is the lone Illinois representative of this family. The eastern spadefoot grows to about two and one-fourth inches. It can be identified by the pair of light lines on its back and the vertical pupil in the eyes. This animal is found in extreme southern Illinois, often in sandy or other loose soils. It lives mostly underground and breeds from March to September after heavy rains. Its call can attract other spadefoots from at least one half mile away and sounds something like an explosive nasal grunt. Adult frogs and toads eat enormous amounts of insects and other small invertebrates annually. Their value in controlling pests near homes and crops has gone largely unrecognized. Man has altered and destroyed millions of acres in Illinois by building towns and roads, converting land use to agriculture, polluting lakes and streams, and by draining and filling swamps and marshes. Such habitat destruction remains one of the largest threats to frogs and toads. Many populations have already been eliminated through habitat loss. The direct effects of agricultural pesticides on frogs and toads and the indirect effects upon their insect food sources are not fully understood. Increased awareness of these unique animals and their value will hopefully result in concern for their welfare and measures to conserve their habitats. We must work together to ensure, for future generations, the survival of this rich resource.